Minerals are important for good health, but that's especially true when we're talking about bones. Let's talk about calcium and minerals. Hi, I'm Dr. Peter Minky. This is Minky Wellness. And the, there's a couple issues that come to mind. I, I, I can't do in a short video, I can't do everything there is to know about uh, calcium and, and minerals and bones and, and all that uh, absorption. But let's talk about some real basics. And the basic thing is, if we're going to talk about stop poisoning ourselves, there's two categories in the, the mineral balance area that are going to throw us off. Yeah, and that is acidity and poor hormones. In other words, we need estrogen and progesterone to maintain. We got to have a good balance, even guys, we have to have a good balance of estrogen and progesterone or we're not going to keep our bone density. And that's, uh, and then if we're, if we're too acidic, uh, obviously we're going to tear our bones apart. Now, the, the, let's talk about the acidity more right now. And that is that if we get acidic and the pH of the blood gets, gets off, and if it's only gets slightly acidic, then it will start leaching calcium out of the bones as a buffer. I mean, it, it takes that out, it has to have it, because we have to have a very narrow pH physiology. There's a couple of reasons why pH would be out of balance. Uh, and, you know, we could talk about the food that we eat is too acidic, the stress that uh, causes us to have poor digestion, which causes us to have undigested material making it into the gut, which causes fermentation and yeast, causes leaky gut and, and undigested material getting into the bloodstream. I mean, those are all part of the package, okay? Uh, stress itself, okay, creates the this uh, uh, issue that also drops our hormones, burns up progesterone. We're not getting our good mineral uh, uh, absorption put into the building up bone. So these are important issues. And what happens is uh, people think they can take a, a calcium supplement. Oh, I take my calcium. And their lifestyle is so geared toward eating up their bones that we're not, not getting the results, okay? We're not keeping healthy bone levels. Now, it's going to be important for healthy bone density also is we need to have actual uh, pressure in the bones. The bone actually has to have weight, right? So this is what we talk about doing weights, going to the gym, uh, and that kind of thing when you put more weight. Well, if you put weight into a joint that's out of alignment, then we end up injuring the joint. We're, you know, back, back to, to our pain cycle that we've been talking about. So it's a bit tricky. I understand this. It's a bit tricky. But mainly lifestyle. You've got to do all of it. Clean up all these little things. A little bit of support. A little bit, a little bit get your hormones on track. Now, hopefully, as we're coming into this musculoskeletal system, after the reproductive system, we've done some work to support our hormones. And this is all after the digestion elimination systems that we've worked on. So we're able, we've got a clean digestion, things are working better. Do you see the logic in all of this? Uh, there's a stacking that goes in our wellness program here. I've designed it with, you know, maybe a little bit of experience. Okay, I've done this a bit. So um, the calcium is going to be important. Now, we can talk about specifically, yes, your calcium supplement needs to have your vitamin D and K with it. You know, there's a lot of different factors that go into all of that. Okay, so, um, but basically what I want to do here is, uh, yeah, yeah, we, and in other words, we've got our Super Cal Plus, great supplement, fabulous, extremely well designed, and it's going to provide you some calcium that I think is going to go right in. I would rather have, I mean, so this dose is, uh, you know, in two capsules, your calcium amounts are 260 milligrams. Okay, and you say what? What do you mean? I mean, oh my gosh! The doctor said I need two thousand, you know, milligrams or whatever. I would rather have two hundred and sixty milligrams that all gets absorbed, that all gets utilized, than two thousand milligrams that sits like a rock in my stomach, and my kidneys have to filter out, and it becomes a stressor to my kidneys, uh, and you know, put the risk of of kidney stones because I'm taking all this calcium that I'm not absorbing, right? So we've got to have absorption. That calcium has to be absorbed. And this is where your digestion has to be healthy. And it, so what I'm going to do is, you know, rather than try to go through the entire wellness program up till now, send you back to, okay, you go back and really work on the whole system and, uh, you know, see if that helps. But I'm going to do some breathing specifically for calcium. I really, really, if you don't, if you don't believe in the consciousness thing, I need, think you need to get on board with this and just try it, okay? And so... I'm going to breathe in as I take my calcium or just get in touch with the calcium in my bones and the calcium in my blood uh, and just, just really get in tune with that. So I'm going to breathe in 
and be aware of calcium. Let's say, but just imagine a bone scan. I don't know if you've ever seen those, you know, body scans uh, and you kind of, or an x-ray and you see the bones. I'm gonna do on my little x-ray vision. I'm gonna breathe in, I'm gonna imagine my bones, right? And if I have any, if it you know, automatically, my brain's gonna go, are there any weak spots, right? And uh, so breathing in and I don't detect any particular weak spots on my side, maybe some a little bit in my spine and my low back. Um, and so now I'm going to breathe in and pay attention to calcium and uh, just I don't know what that looks like I'm just gonna make it up. I'm just making an image up and uh, breathe, breathe into the blood and talk to me about calcium Right, and so now I'm just awareness. I'm using breath to bring my awareness that consciousness to calcium in my blood calcium in my muscles Calcium in my bones Okay, now I, you know, especially if I'm taking my, my calcium supplement, I'm going to breathe in and absorb, bring in that calcium that I've just taken and have it absorb into the bloodstream and send that around, especially if, if as I breathe in and I feel, in my case, maybe a little bit of weakness in the low back, I'm going to send that calcium to that area of the skeleton. So I really want to get to absorb that. Now, it just feels to me, for me, I, I need a little bit of energy, a little bit of zip. So I'm going to breathe in light and love into the calcium in my body. Okay, and now I'm actually identifying toxins. Okay, piggybacking with the calcium in my body is something else. I could probably look at the periodic table and tell you what it is. I don't think, I can't think of it right now. There's something else that's along with the calcium that's a toxin. So... I'm going to breathe in, light and love, bring the energy, bring the frequency up, and then dump that other stuff, clear it out, whatever that is. Get that out. It shouldn't be there. There's, that is definitely a mineral that's messing things up in the bones and in the blood. So I'm going to breathe in the perfect, uh, 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 whatever's necessary to clear out whatever that is. Do you see how you don't have to know, right? I'm just going to declare. I'm going to breathe in the perfect energy, frequency, whatever it is that's going to wash out this toxin, this mineral toxin. So I'm going to breathe in that solution, that, that uh, uh, whatever you want to call it, that magic ray from God is filling my body and then whew, exhale and all that those toxins coming out, they're going out, they're going out, they're going out. So I'm going to exhale the toxins out the bowel, out the kidneys. Okay, so getting in touch with the physiology of the bones, yeah, sure, we can read all about it, but unless we're a, a formulator, uh, you know, we don't need to worry about it. We've got the, we've got the sophisticated formulation right here. Now we need our body to actually utilize it. We need to take control of our lifestyle so that we can hold our calcium into our bones and not have it dump in the bloodstream and stress out the kidneys. Okay, so we need to, uh, we, it's, I, as I've said, I've had a statement that we can't supplement lifestyle. In other words, if we have a really bad lifestyle and we're poisoning ourselves and stressing ourselves out, there's only so much the flood the body, the, the flood the body with nutrients can do. Right. If I've got if it's using all those nutrients just to break even with all the toxins and all the stress. Right. I've got two categories that I can throw off or, or, or deplete the, the flood, the body. Right. I've got these three categories. Stop poisoning myself, flood the body with nutrients and manage my stress. I've got to do all three. OK. And so this is where I'm getting at with all the lifestyle changes we talk about and um and you know, getting those changes in your life what's our our focus for this month is um the gym bag uh if you if you go to the gym but refined sugars we're getting rid of refined sugars this month or this quarter actually we're going to spend the whole quarter on sugar and sugar will cause acidity and leach the bones out of your body soda a combination of carbonic acid and carbonation with sugar this is your typical soda, is just basically like battery acid to your bones. It's just sucking the calcium out of your bones, the minerals out of your bones. Okay, so very, very important for us to get the lifestyle part correct. And you say, well, 
I don't know, I've been pretty good with sugar. No, no, you need to be absolute with sugar, okay? It takes three to five days for the body to recover from sugar. Well, you know what, we need to do a whole thing just on this, okay? So we'll do that later. But for now, hopefully this has been a little helpful for you to get in touch with your mineral balance, get in touch with your calcium, use your supplement, the Super Cal Plus, fabulous supplement, got your vitamin D, your K, um, got your magnesium in there as well. Has a great um, uh, uh, this dual action blend part that looks absolutely amazing uh, with a whole bunch of I mean, amino acids, all the right things that it needs. The body has to produce uh, a hormone to absorb. I mean, the calcitonin has to absorb calcium, and you need it needs a lot of working parts that I don't need to worry about because I've got them all in this for in this amazing brand new product from Young Living. Okay, and it's got the oil blend that's fabulous. So, like I said, what we need to do is yes, I'm taking the right supplement, but I need to get that into the body. I need to change my body's state of, of relationship with these things. And my consciousness is a fast way to do that, okay? Being unconscious is not working for you, I guarantee it. All right, so breathing in, feeling that goodness, feeling the strong bones, Right and uh, and get that calcium into the bones and clear out any junk. You start to now you probably you know if you do this you're gonna have some detox reactions and there is where a lot of the minerals are, are heavy metals are stored in the bones. So we want to use our red drink to get those out. So as you're doing your red drink today and tomorrow, if you've been doing this breathing with me, then you definitely need to bump it up on your red drink and your sulfurzyme and allow that to clear out. If you start getting headaches a little bit later in the day. That's what that's coming from. If you have any ringing in the ears, that's probably heavy metals, uh, lead mercury coming out. So you need to get that sulfur. So all the lead mercury usually is it goes out through the sulfur pathways. So you need that sulfur for that. Okay, so happy wellness one day at a time. We'll see you tomorrow.